All right, so our next drill in our speed and agility, this is going to be a bilateral cone hop to a sprint. So um, first it's going to be a pre-plan, and then we're going to add the agility aspect of an unplanned. We're going to drop a foam roller, and the athlete's going to have to make a game time decision of which direction they're going. So we're going to go from these quick hops to a burst to really get that neural stimulus going. They're already ready, explosive, and they're going to have to drive out of that plyometric um, uh, drill. So uh, what we want to see here is we want to see the athlete is taking a forward step after they do their plyometrics. We always want that first movement to be um, initiated going forward. So what we're going to be looking for is after those plyos are done, we don't want to see this happen, a, a false step. We want that first move to be forward. Um, so they'll go about six hops over the hurdles. So it'll be quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're bursting out of it here. Again, my eyes are up. My chest are up the whole entire time. That first step I took was to go forward versus taking a false step backwards. So now Coach Morg is going to demo our um, unplanned agility drill for this. So what will happen is the coach will stand at the five-yard line, so it's going to have to be a quick reaction right out of the gate. She'll do her six hops um, laterally over those cones, and then I'll either drop this foam roller right or left. The direction that I drop it, she needs to go the opposite way because she doesn't want to run into the foam roller. All right, here we go, Coach Morg. One, two, three, four, five, six, go. Good job. Really good there. So on that change of direction, we're even going to be looking for making sure that she's taking the correct um, open step versus taking a false step to then make that change of direction. So that was awesome.